Hello there, everybody. This is Eric Sullivan. We are going to be doing the basics of Python programming today. A little bit of simple computation and a little bit of just printing things to the screen, working with variables, stuff like that. So, table of contents for today. I'm actually going to do this video in two parts. So this is Python programming basics. Part one, we're just going to do a simple hello world computation or um, exercise. And then some real basic computations. Then I'll introduce you variables, variable uh, comparisons, things like that. Part two of the video we'll get to in the next part. So let's go. It is tradition. In the, in the programming world, it is tradition to write code to print the words hello world out to the screen. So get yourself into a Google Colab document. Um, type a little bit of text for what it is that we're about to do so that you can look back at this later and know what we did. And then in a code block, we're going to do print. Print will print something out to the screen. And I'm going to do quotes, hello world. This is tradition in programming. We have to do it. Okay, now to run the code, you either press the play button, which I can do here. The first time you run code, in a Google Colab session, it takes a couple of seconds. Every subsequent time, it happens pretty quickly. So if I click back in here, I could also control enter. That will run the code and leave my cursor where it is. Or I could shift enter. That runs my code and moves me down to the next um, code block. So maybe now let's print something like my name. Ooh, let's be a little bit more fancy about this. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so we printed my name. Well, now let's do something a little bit even more fancy. Um, let's say name equals, and I'll put my name in here. And then I'm going to print my name is, comma, and then name. Now we've done just a little tiny bit of programming in this. When I do name equals, this is what's called a variable assignment, right? I have assigned the word name to the thing that's in quotes here, which is my name. And then when I print it, I can just call upon that variable. I could also just call this Billy Bob variable and then call on Billy Bob variable and it does the exact same thing. The word name is not really uh, necessary. But it's nice to use descriptive variable names. So put me on pause for a second, play with this, do a couple of hello world sorts of exercises. Okay, now that you've got me off pause, let's use Python to do some basic computation just like you would a calculator. So if you just want to do really basic computation like add, subtract, multiply, divide. So I'm going to write that in here. So I'm going to do add, subtract, multiply, and divide. All right, I'm just going to do the basic computation. So if I wanted to do 1 plus 4, I could control enter. I get my answer 1 plus 4. Not very exciting. If I wanted to do 1 minus 4, I get my answer up to 1 minus 4. I want to do 1 minus 4.5, I get it. I'm using control enter to run the code each time. Now, that's perfectly fine, but when you're writing programs, you don't want to have just throwaway computations. So maybe I would say x is equal to 1, y is equal to 4, and z is equal to x plus y. Now, oftentimes I will put a little bit of space in my uh, computation so it makes it a little bit more readable. Then I'll do something like print Z. So let's comment this before we run it. So this assigns the number one to the name X, right? The next one is going to assign the number four to the name Y. Oops, the name Y. And then I'm going to do the computation. X plus Y. 
So I'm really, I'm actually just adding one plus four. This is super simple. There's no reason to actually be this complex in your code, but okay, that's kind of nice. So now I can even in my print command, I can say um, X plus Y is equal to, and now I've got something nice and readable in my code. Okay, that's all well and good. So let's do something a little bit more complex. Maybe I wanted to do one plus three times 42 or 43 minus 72 over five. Maybe, there we go. Now, I can run it. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, I hid it somehow. I don't know how I did that, actually. I must have pressed some magical keyboard shortcut to hide everything. Um, so I can run it. That's all perfectly well and good. Now, keep in mind that this will do the order of operation. So it's going to do 2 plus 43, because that's multiplication. It's going to do 72 plus or 72 divided by 5. Um, and then it'll actually do 1 plus this answer minus that answer. So the parentheses here are not necessary. It will do those for us. You can stick the parentheses in. That's perfectly OK. All right now, the nice thing here is that I've got this computation. If I wanted to go back, oh, I didn't want 5. I wanted 5.7. I can go back and change it. No problem. It just goes goes ahead and just does it for me. So as we see, add, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division are all kind of the same as we would normally expect in any calculator um, as they are in Python. Now, if I've got variables, so if I want to redefine x as 7, I'm going to redefine uh, y as 8. I can test to see if these variables are the same. So I could do x equals equals y. So what this does is it checks if x is equal to y, and if I run it, it says false. If I change y to 7, now it says true. OK, so it's kind of a handy uh, little dude. So let's change y back to 8. So let's check if x is less than or equal to y. True. Let's check, check if it's <laughs> If I could type, there we go. OK, so what I'm doing here is I'm doing a couple of inequality checks just to show you how uh, we can actually compare a couple of variables. So if x is greater than y, false. If x is less than y, how about if I did greater than or equal to, false. But if I change this to 7, true. OK, I'm going to end the video there. Go ahead and put me on pause. Go ahead and play around with this a little bit so you know how to use Python as just a basic calculator.